A kid rolls a toy car 70 centimeters off a table and it lands 85 centimeters away. What is the initial velocity of the toy car? And then the second half of the problem is what is the angle in respect to the ground of velocity? So first off, we want to set up what variables we do know and what we don't know. From the beginning, we know that the x position final is 85 centimeters, and we're going to convert that to meters. x initial, of course, is 0 because that's where it begins. y final is 0 because it touches the ground. And then in addition, the initial y position is 70 centimeters. Or in other cases, 0.7 meters. And then when we think about the acceleration of the object, we know that there's no acceleration in the x direction, so we can say 0. In addition, there's, there's the force of gravity in the y direction. Added onto this, we also have to take into account the velocity of it. Velocity in respect to x and velocity in respect to y. The velocity in respect to x is what we're trying to solve in the problem. So that's our variable. And the velocity in respect to y, since it's just chilling on this table, it doesn't fall anywhere. Knowing all these variables, we look at the kinematic equation involving position, velocity, time, and acceleration, and we can cross out some variables. Simplifying the two equations, we get with these equations, we're trying to solve for this variable, the initial velocity of x, but we have an unknown variable here, which is t, but we can solve it in our second equation, t. So for our second equation, we're going to solve it for t, and solving it out, we get With this value, we now plug it back into our original equation and solve for the velocity, initial velocity in respect to x. And we Solving this out with a calculator, we get a final answer of 17 square root of 7 over 20 meters per second. And that is the first half of the problem, velocity initial. For the rest of the video, the audio cut out, so I'll be doing a voiceover. So for the second half of the problem, it asks for the velocity impact angle when it touches the ground. Knowing this, we have to find the x and y component of the velocity using the above kinematic equations above v squared e final equals v squared initial plus 2 acceleration and the change in x. With the equation simplified, we know that velocity final in respect to x and velocity initial in respect to x are both equal to each other. Knowing that, we had solved for the velocity of x in the previous problem, so we can just plug it in. For the second half, for the velocity in respect to y, we simplified it and we have the equation there. All we have to do is plug in the variables and solve for the equation. With the equation simplified, we know that velocity final in respect to x and velocity initial in respect to x are both equal to each other. Knowing that, we had solved for the velocity of x in the previous problem, so we can just plug it in. For the second half, for the velocity in respect to y, we simplified it and we have the equation there. All we have to do is plug in the variables and solve for the equation. Now knowing the x and y components of velocity, we can use SOHCAHTOA, more specifically the tangent, tangent equals opposite over adjacent, and we can solve for the angle that the velocity makes. Now moving tangent to the opposite side, we get the inverse tangent of the y component over the x. Plugging that into a calculator, we get a final angle of 49.6 degrees below the horizon.